Hello, everybody! Shout out to my buddy, C-Top. Um, anyways, <laughs> that's how he starts all of his videos. Anyways, we are back with some more Necromancer in Prod Realm. So, and I don't really have a lot to talk to you about today that's like really kind of heavy stuff. I mean, lately we've been talking about YouTube stuff and about responsibility and really heavy stuff. I wanted to like skip a few videos from that um, because I don't want to feel like I'm being preachy and sometimes I do feel like I'm being preachy and that's not what I what I want. And so let's see, let's zoom in on our, on our map here. But before we get into the actual video, uh, oop, horse, yes please. Before I get into the actual video, um, I wanted to ask you guys what you thought of the daily 15 to 20 minute videos versus the um, every other day 30 or 20 to 30 minute videos. Is that something that you guys like? Is that a great change? I feel like people were wanting videos more often and this is a good way for me to get videos more often and also um, have other videos as well. Now I've been planning to do some other series, I just haven't had time yet. The, the thought is that I, I would do one of these videos a day and then one of another series. Now I know that my other series aren't necessarily popular with a lot of people who play Realm, and you know, that's fine. But I still want to kind of break up the monotony a little bit with with other games and you know I think it's good to have more than one game on your channel anyways because like I've said in the past if that game dies then your channel just goes down the shitter so I'm gonna continue to do more games um, if you like any of the games that I'm playing like for instance turmoil I've had a r lot of really good feedback for turmoil I want to keep doing it I just don't know if I'm gonna actually finish the game or not um, but I still want to do more turmoil. If you like games like that, let me know because I do take your guys' feedback into account. All right, enough of that. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the migration that we are having um, to DECA games. Oh good, we got, we got something. And I didn't want to, oop, I got a speed, nothing else good. Um, there's been a lot of people talking about what they want or or don't want or a lot of guesswork or people pleading and and talk trying to you know talk to the the people over at Deck of Games let them know what the community wants. I have a feeling because of what they have been saying in their posts that they actually do listen to the community because a lot of the stuff people complain about and a lot of the stuff we've been asking for has been mentioned in their posts which is great but one of the big things I've been seeing lately especially around the uh, the Realm of the Mad God subreddit is a lot of people calling to nerf and or reduce pets uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my opinion with pets I think that what I have to say may not be completely popular. It's not the po probably the popular opinion for everybody, uh, but it's, it's I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And so here's here's how I feel about pets. First off, I don't like how they are microtransaction based. I understand that pets uh, probably saved this game. It's uh, there's a, a lot of talk going on about how if pets weren't here and people weren't spending money on it, then Kabam probably would have abandoned this game long ago. I do think that is true. I think we've had a few people from Kabam outright say it's true, although I don't have any links or anything for you guys. I just remember somebody posting something and it looked official, but it might not have been. I don't know. So I can't really say for sure. However, I do feel like uh, pets are a good thing. I actually like the pets. Oh no! I was I was talking about pets! That's what you get when you talk about pets. I was not paying attention. Alright. So. <laughs> oh, we got a red star. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, so we need to make a new character. Let me know what you guys would like to see, but we'll do our ninja for now. That was that was unfortunate because I thought that the people standing next to me were 
were uh were people and not not the little witchy witchy women things but anyways uh, we can really do about it now let's see yeah we'll keep that that's fine how many do we need let's see tell mr Abel left to mix we need 25 defense we need a lot of defense what about dex? Dex. 29 dex. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink any of that yet. But let's let's get into it. Let's just get back into a game. Sorry about that. That was that was just me flat out not paying attention. Uh, I need to I need to pay attention to my characters more. Wow, okay. So anyways, so pets. I feel like I like pets. First off, I think it's cool that you have something that follows you around and oh look I have a little chick and oh look at how cute the little chick is and ooh. Puppet Master Theater. Hopefully some people go in. Anybody in here? Yes, there's a few people in here. Alright. So, I do like the thought of pets. So, let's get rid of some of this crap. Am I going to lose my other character today, too? Okay, well, since there's only two people in here, let's, let's head out. So, I do feel like pets are a good thing. I like, th I like the thought, but I don't like the implementation. You see, when pets first came out, they didn't have any stats or anything. It was just, it was just, here's a thing, you can show it off to your friends, and maybe your friends will like it, and they'll like you because of your pet. Although that's, you know, probably not gonna happen, uh, just off of your pet, yeah, but... They're, they're gonna like you for other reasons, I, I assure you. But anyways, that I am totally fine with. Because it's, it's just a cosmetic thing. Uh, there, there's no other reason to, to have a pet for the most part. Uh, it's, it's purely cosmetic and all this stuff. So that I think was a good implementation. The problem came when they started making it to where you could basically uh, buy uh, ways to... Oh, okay. I was slightly behind the other guy and they were shooting at me. So let me, let me... Let me, uh, there we go. I was gonna say, let me get through this first before I, I keep talking. So, here's the thing with pets, guys. They're not gonna get rid of pets. And the reason why is because people have already spent their money on it. And so if they get rid of pets, they're gonna have to give them something for free, I guess, like, equally good, right? Because if you're like, oh, hey, you just spent, I don't know, some people spend, like, 300 bucks on pets or some crazy amount. I think somebody calculated if you were just to spend money on Ambrosia and on your your pet to, to max it to legendary, it was something like a few thousand bucks or something, you know, it was like a thousand something bucks. They're, they're not going to take that out of the game because people have already spent that money. And so if if they were to take it out, people would be pissed because I, I just spent X hundred bucks, you know, and now what I did is completely meaningless. So th they're not they're not going to take it out of the game. That that I know for sure. Oh, good. We got one. And uh, they can't. There's, they can't take it out of the game because... Um, because people have already spent the money on it. So I think what they could do is rebalance them so they're not completely overpowered. There's uh, been a few people who who have suggested that if you make it so that they don't heal you or magic heal you or, or whatever when you're taking damage, that that might balance it. So basically, let's say there's a, a two-second cooldown. So you you just took damage and so for the next two seconds your pet abilities won't work and then after that two seconds it'll start healing you back and all that and all that good stuff again i feel like that that could actually be a good way to to balance pets out a, li a little bit so is that a speed yes it is we'll drink that i don't mind drinking speeds and stuff um right away because they're kind of easier to come by so so there's there's no way they're gonna take pets out of the game, but they can make them better and make them not so overpowered, um, and then still still I guess 
Would you charge money for that? What I would really love is if they got rid of the microtransactions in the game and uh, just had them for like skins and cosmetic stuff. That, that if, if I could have my way, that's what I would do. However, the problem is it's the startup studio. Uh, this is their first IP. They have to make money. They have to pay their, their, their employees of which I think there's like three or four of them um, right now. So they, they have to somehow make money. And I don't know if... There, there's a lot of different ways they could do this. They could make an ad-supported model, right? And try and make money that way. People hate ads, so maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's not a good thing. Oh, wow. We're, uh... We're really kind of escaping on the skin of our teeth there a little bit. So I definitely think they need to take a look at pets. However, they can't get rid of them, which is, which is sad, I understand. Uh, but, it, you know, if they could just balance them, I would be okay with that. I would be okay with, with just balancing pets. And, and you know what I also would be okay with? More skins and more different dyes and clothes and and I, I, would, I don't I don't like the sets that you can buy you know the the sets that you can buy to get an advantage I don't like those so and I know a lot of people don't like them I'm just trying to think how else how else could they um, monetize this game because they do have to make a living they could they could make a a monthly fee, kind of like, I don't know, RuneScape or something, where with that monthly fee, you get certain perks and stuff with it. And, you know, or more quests or something. They could add some sort of a, a quest mechanic in. I'm not actually not quite sure. It's a, it's a complex pr uh, problem because the game already exists. And if they're going to implement stuff into the game... Oops, I should not have teleported to that rogue. I'm sorry, Mr. Rogue. Um, if, if they're going to add something to the game, they're going to get pushback. 100%. They, they are going to get pushback if they add stuff into the game. And, you know, some people will also like it. That's just kind of how this, this works. You'll get people who hate all of your new stuff. And people who who really like it as well. Um, so you have to do that balancing act, you know? What what will keep the enough people still playing while being able to pay your bills, keep expensive servers online? And you know what? I think they probably could get rid of some of the servers. Let's not die. There we go. Um, kids, dying is bad. Okay. Alright, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? What would you be okay with? For me, more cosmetic items, skins. Uh, I would even be okay with pets you could buy. Well, I was gonna say I'd be okay with pets you can buy that didn't have any, uh, what's the word I was looking for? didn't have any skills or whatever, but then no one would ever use them because why use the ones that have no skills when you can use the ones that do? So scratch that idea. What what do you guys think? You you guys are the, the target demographic here. So what would you like? If you were, if DECA Games were to come to you and say, we are looking for a way that we can make money to keep our our business alive and to keep realm alive what would you be okay with what would you say and i think there's a lot of people out there who are like i'm not okay with anything uh screw these guys you know everything should be free this game's been free to play for a while kabam screwed everything up by making it not free to play but the reality is they still have to somehow monetize the game right i'm sure they they paid money to Kabam for it, unless Kabam just gave it to him for free, which I highly doubt just knowing 
how Kabam is as a business and how most businesses are. But, you know, they could have gotten it from free because it sounds like they were ex-Kabam people. Uh, so it's possible that they got it for free. But even then, you know, they have to somehow may recuperate the cost for buying the IP and and servers are expensive to run and people need to feed their families and themselves and have a roof over their head and you know just the necessities and stuff and if you're not gonna pay your employees to keep them then they're gonna go find other places to work as well so you have to pay, uh, pay them a fair wage I don't know I don't know. I don't... Is there a right answer to this question? I don't think there is. I think that there's people who are in Camp A who really, really like the way it is now and they don't care that there's microtransactions and pay-to-win elements. And there's people in Camp B who absolutely hate the way it is. And there's people in Camp C who really don't care either way. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's, uh, that's pretty much all I got for you today. It's a quite unfortunate death there because I was not paying attention so I apologize for that as well I'm gonna go record let's see it's 9 15 I'm gonna go record an episode of another game and hopefully get that edited for you tonight as well this is a game that I'm very excited about because it's a little bit like RimWorld and it's a little bit like like a uh, banished or what's the Dwarf Fortress that's the one I'm thinking of it's like Dwarf Fortress meets RimWorld which, if you know anything about either of those games, they are both excellent, very, very difficult, and a lot of fun. So, I'm, I'm excited to give it a shot. I will probably die right away, and all my people will die right away. But, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of the name of the game sometimes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next episode. Mm -hmm.